All right, hello guys, and thank you for clicking on another video. I know we're kind of in a weird spot of the house, but I was trying to get as far away from the dishwasher as I could since it's on and it's making a ton of noise. So I hope it's not too distracting if you can hear it at all. Today, I just wanted to address a change in my YouTube channel. I know that tons of you found me from content that I made in years past. Um, and I have sort of been shifting a lot of the focus of my content. And I just kind of wanted to address that because I don't know, I never really talked about it. And I, again, I know that's why a lot of you are here. So I don't know, it just felt like it should be addressed. And um, that way you guys can kind of understand where I'm coming from. And we can kind of talk about what the direction my YouTube channel is going to take and um, what I will be steering away from. So many of you guys actually found me uh, in my first few years of making YouTube videos. I've been making YouTube videos since the beginning of 2021, right after I had my daughter. So it's been about three and a half years now, over three and a half years actually. And I would say in the last year, especially, my content has made a huge shift, even especially in 2024 in general. I used to, when I first started, my content was almost exclusively about my daughter. Her name's Rosie and she has Down syndrome. And the whole reason I even made this YouTube channel was because I was looking for community. Um, I didn't know anyone else personally that had Down syndrome and I didn't know any other parents that were going through what I was going through. And so I was really just yearning for that sense of community. And so I decided to start a YouTube channel and I made videos about all kinds of different things that I was interested in, especially like thrifting and DIY projects and decluttering and cleaning, traveling. That has always been part of my YouTube channel. But if you've been paying attention the last six months to a year, you will have seen very few videos about Rosie and about me being a mom uh, and practically none about Down syndrome in general. There's a couple reasons for this. I'm not doing this unintentionally. Uh, it's a very intentional choice that I've been making to step back from sharing my daughter and our life together online. Um, one of the things is obviously there's been a lot of really scary things on the internet recently about like family vlog channels and just like the technology that's progressing. Um, it's really scary the things that are happening to some people, even people who don't have huge platforms and big channels, no matter what your situation is, if you're putting your kid online, there is dangers associated with that just like anything, there's dangers associated with anything. So absolutely no shame to people who choose to do that. Myself, I have been very back and forth about it um, because although I don't wanna be putting my daughter at risk of some of these really scary, awful things that are happening, at the same time, I think it's so important that people are exposed to people that have Down syndrome um because i think even still there's a very there's a lot of misinformation out there and there's just kind of this culture that people just don't really know <laughs> like they just don't know about down syndrome and they don't know what people with down syndrome can be capable of or they feel uncomfortable because of the lack of exposure just like i did you know that was my experience before i had rosie and so it's really important to me to show what rosie can do she's a normal kid truly she is really just normal and i treat her like normal i discipline her like i would discipline pretty much any other child i teach her like i would teach pretty much any other child and of course i'm aware of her differences and i'm sensitive to those i want her to excel and i want to give her every opportunity possible but i still want to make things really accessible to her so i am totally aware of that but i in general i just want people to 
other people to be aware of what my daughter and other people like my daughter can do. Like she doesn't need special treatment. She doesn't need to be babied. And I feel like it's, it's so important to have that presence online for people with Down syndrome, especially from a Christian perspective, because disabilities and even like people who advocate for disability, like the rights um, of people with disabilities, a lot of those things are not the same as what I think and how I feel about things as a mother to a child with disabilities. And I just think it's important to have that that other narrative, the Christian narrative on the whole situation as well. So that's really important to me. So I have been between a rock and a hard place, it feels like I want to share my daughter, but I don't want to put her at risk. And so I've been really, really prayerful about it. And for a time, I did take her offline. I made my Instagram profile private and I removed people who I did not know or did not um, like, I don't know, didn't feel comfortable following me. Like I would click on their page and be like, yeah, I don't really want you to follow me. And I would remove them. Uh, so I did, and then I stopped sharing her face on my public Instagram, which is the one that's linked below. The one that I try to associate with my YouTube channel. Uh, it's newer. I just made it like last year. So, uh, a lot of people were finding me through my Instagram of the same name as this YouTube channel, Deidre Leanne, which is my first middle name. And you know, that's what my Instagram was. And so I made it private and I deleted a bunch of people and, you know, I encourage people to follow my other account. And for a long time, I was not showing her face on there and showing minimal pictures of her in general. But my last post, I did show her face again. Um, it wasn't like a full like frontal face like this. I don't think I'm pretty sure the picture that I posted on there It was like of her looking down. So you kind of get like a very altered perspective of her face I don't know. I I don't know what I feel comfortable with yet I'm still navigating that and I think that that's okay I again, I'm prayerful about it. And the thing is I'm not just sharing her arbitrarily I'm not just doing it to get clicks or likes or for fun, like I genuinely have purpose behind what I'm sharing. And so it's really hard to know what to do in my situation. So again, just really prayerful about it, leaning on other people in the community. And hopefully I can kind of come to a decision about that really soon. So as far as my YouTube channel, again, I stopped sharing stuff about her pretty much ever since January. I haven't really shared anything about her. I tried to keep her face out of my videos, but then the last couple of videos I've been sharing, I've had her face in them. I, again, it, it's hard. And some of the videos that I'm making, like the, when we go on trips and stuff and like I have the little highlight reels, those are my favorite videos to make, my absolute favorites. I have considered stop making everything else in favor of just making those types, like the travel videos, especially the short version, like the highlight videos, because I love going back and watching them. It's a way to relive so many of my favorite memories. Uh, we make one that kind of recaps Rosie's whole year and we already have not been making one this year. Like we already haven't filmed for it. So I doubt we'll do it anymore. And I feel like she's getting old enough that it's probably okay to move on from that. Um, but then I'm like, well, what about when we have future children? Should I make them for them? Like they're such sweet videos to look back on and they do really well on YouTube as well. So I feel like you guys really enjoy them. So I, I don't know. It's, Again, <laughs> it's just so difficult to figure out what to do, but um, but I just wanted to share that, you know, going forward, uh, Down syndrome specifically will probably no longer be a large part, part of my channel. I may occasionally make videos about it, just depending on the season of life I'm in. But like I said earlier, when I made this channel, I was really looking for a community of people who were going through what I was going through. And that's why so many of my videos were centered around Down syndrome. But at this point in my life, I don't feel that way anymore. I have a great community here in my church. I have so many close friends who I love and my family is close by. When I made this channel, we lived in North Carolina and I didn't have that community at all. Um, 
and it, we moved during COVID and everything. It was just, it was such a different <laughs> thing. But now that I have my family and I have such a great group of friends, it's not really important to me to build that community anymore. And of course, I still love making resources for other women who may be in a similar situation that I was a few years ago that are also learning, yearning for that sense of community. And so, you know, I want to do that for them. But at the same time, like my heart's just not really in that anymore because my perspectives and my priorities have shifted that the community I'm looking for is really my sisters in Christ. I, which is probably why you've seen this transformation over the past six months, that my channel has become much more Christ centered. And some people don't like that and some people love that. And I know I can't please everyone and I don't really care to please everyone. Again, I can only make what my heart is really in. And right now, the community I want to build is the Christian community. The people I want to encourage are young moms and young women, young married women. That's who I want to encourage. That's where my heart is. That's what I, that, that's the battle I'm in all the time is being a young mom and a young wife and being a Christian in the world that we're in right now. And so those are the videos that I've been inclined to make. And uh, again, going forward, I don't know what season will come upon us. Um, I know I've shared on here a few times that we're actually going through the process of adopting. So I can imagine that I will probably be looking for some uh, communities around adoption and sharing some of what we've gone through to try to build that community as well. I will say I do have a, sm a small number of people in my life who have been adopted or have adopted someone and so I I don't know that it'll be quite the same as it was when I had Rosie but um, regardless I, I don't know what season of life we're gonna be in and I don't know what I'm gonna be wanting to really share and pour my heart into uh, so I hope that you'll understand that this channel it's a reflection of me and it's a reflection of my life and it always has been it never was Rosie's channel it never was supposed to be about her I mean like solely about her it's always been her life through my eyes, you know, being a mother to her, my experiences with her, that's always what my channel was intended to be. And, um, and so I hope that you'll understand that as I learn and grow and go through different phases of life, so will my channel. And I completely understand if you're not interested in what my channel has become, uh, that's totally fair. You're allowed to unsubscribe. You're allowed to stop watching for a time. Um, that's of course totally allowed but those of you who have come to bond with me and find a friendship in me and we have so many similar interests whether it be motherhood or thrifting or reading or our relationship with Christ or you know baking we just started a bakery my husband and I so we have so many interests we're such diverse people and i don't want to be put into a box on youtube that oh she makes videos about being a mom she makes videos about down syndrome she you know she makes videos about adoption like i don't want that to be the box that i get put in i have so many interests and i know some of you love me for that and you feel close to me because i am complex some of you are like i only like her thrifting content or i only like her decorating or whatever content I make um, and some of you really like my Christian my Christian and Christianity content um, and so and that's totally fine if you want to cherry pick and you only watch the videos that I put out on those specific topics but again I know that there are some of you who love me <laughs> in all of my quirky complicated dynamic self and so I really appreciate that and I hope to grow that community of, of people who also share so many of my similar interests and uh, who are willing to take me as I am through any season of life I'm going through. And I, I hope to touch and inspire all sorts of different people through this channel. So again, I, I knew I was having a huge change in my channel. It felt so weird not addressing it. So I wanted to address it. And, you know, again, I can't provide perfect clarity on the topic because I don't know what's ahead. <laughs> I just truly don't know. We may go through some crazy thing with Rosie, like 
I don't know, starting school may be just a crazy thing and I need to make videos about it and get input and community from that. Who knows? I may be completely eating my words right now and, um, and be making con content about Down syndrome again soon, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know is the short answer and right now it's not in my books it's not on my planner on my planner right now is a ton of travel stuff and um, some more biblical things and gosh what else I don't know I have a few other things as well we're hoping to move soon like I said we just started a bakery we're adopting like there's so many great things going on so I'm really excited to share all of that with you guys um, so yes, I hope you guys understand that I am a complicated person and I don't fit into this little box. And I hope that you guys uh, can, can grow with me and we can grow our relationship as you learn all new things about me. And as I grow as a person, I am not the same person who started this channel three and a half years ago at all. I, I feel like I don't even know her. So yes, so that is what I want to tell you guys. Thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry I rambled so much. I just feel like I, my, my mind is so scattered that I didn't even really know what I wanted to say until I started filming. So anyways, thank you guys for understanding. And I really hope that all of you guys will subscribe and that I'll see you in the next couple of videos, even if they're maybe not what you came here for. So I appreciate every single one of you and I'll see you soon.